So I found this old typewriter at home some days ago. It still looks surprisingly neat for something that should be at least four to five years old and while it still looks like it functions perfectly i'm not sure if the ink or ribbon or whatever it's called has dried up or not i guess there is only one way to find out i was watching a video on youtube a few months back and this person said something that completely floored me I'm paraphrasing, but it was something along these lines. If you're instructed by your boss to get to work by 8 a.m. every morning, would you do that? Of course you will. If your professor in school tells you to complete an assignment before a certain time, would you do that? Of course you will, even when it's not so convenient. But when you tell yourself, I'm going to start reading this book today, or I'm going to finish up this online course that I abandoned five months ago, and you don't do it, it shows that you actually don't have respect for yourself. I knew then and there that I did not respect myself or at least not as much as I was meant to. And acknowledgement is the first key to change, so here we go. One of my strengths or weaknesses, however I choose to see it that day, is my fast-paced mind. Having multiple interests means that my mind is always spinning with ideas that always sound great in my head. But the issue is, before I can calm down to actually pursue this idea, I've gotten another breathtaking idea and decide to pursue that one instead. And it never takes long before the wave of inspiration would pass and then I would get fed up with this project I'm working on and start a new one. And the cycle goes on and on. When I was 10 years old, my mom got me a novel. It was the first novel I ever owned. And I remember reading the author's bio at the back of the book and saw that she had written her first book before she was 10 years old. So I decided to myself then that I was going to write my first book before I graduated from high school. Newsflash, I did not. Why? Because whenever I thought of a genius idea for a novel, I would start it and then halfway through, I would think of another equally genius idea and I would abandon this first one and start a new one. This did not just affect my writing, but many other interests that I had. And it didn't help that I had, or I have, perfectionistic tendencies and we all know perfectionism is best friend with procrastination. I'm the type of person that won't start something until two days to the deadline. I even shared a story about it once on my channel. And usually I would set goals for myself and end up not achieving it or I take longer than I should simply because I didn't feel like. And the reason I've discovered is because I do not respect myself. And I feel the reason why we as humans act that way is because when someone else tells us to do something and we don't do it, there will be consequences. But if we tell ourselves to do something and we don't do it, there are no consequences. You won't punish yourself. <laughs> and I've realized that a lot of times I'm not as motivated until I have an external deadline as opposed to me just telling myself, oh, I want to do this before this time. When you're learning to respect yourself, I think it's usually better to start from accountability to others. It really does help. But at the end of the day, no one can help you if you are not ready to help yourself. If you are not ready to change, no one can help you change. I'm learning not to let my feelings dictate what I do and what I don't. That's not as easy as it sounds, trust me. But I realize that the more I practice, 
the better I get at it. Sometimes last year, I challenged myself to do a particular task and I was going to do it twice every day for 21 days. So the plan was that if I miss a single day, I would start all over from the first day. So I just said to myself that if I really follow through with this, I am proving to myself that I can actually set my mind to achieve something and actually follow through with it. I also had a box that I ticked every day after I did it. And after the 21 days, with every box ticked, I just realized that truly I can do everything I put my mind to if only I could just learn to take myself more seriously. You should too. stop letting procrastination hold you back. You would never know how much you are capable of unless you try. Cause baby, like, ooh.